guys, I'm Layla. Today we're going to be talking some Raid, and we're going to be talking about Grand Oak Padrag. We're going to be doing a showcase for him and Fire Knight Hard 10, and also kind of talking about him his usefulness in Hydra. Hydra runs tend to be long, so I'm not actually going to run that. But what I do want to show is this, first of all, so this showcase will be courtesy of Brot. So Brot, thank you very much. I'm going to have some links down below for his Twitch and his YouTube. But check this out. So Brot took Grand Oak into Hydra, right? And so we have Hydra hard. We have 219 mil damage here. So this actually is his best time. So you see this team here, initially he had Siffy in Grand Oak's place, switched out, put Grand Oak in. The team with Siffy ended up maxing at 170 mil. He put Grand Oak in and 219 was the best time. And I am going to toss a screenshot up here that the, the main damage it'll look like was going to be Cupidus because we do have Venus here. You know, we have Cupidus at the 97 mil, Venus at 48. We have Inquisitor Shamal at 39, Vizix at 20, and Grand Oak Padrax at 6.6 .6 mil. But look at all that healing too. Like we have the 3.4 mil. So you are going to see how they did. This run ended up taking almost 40 minutes, okay? But also really good to show that he's fantastic in Hydra. Now today's showcase is going to be Fire Knight. So we are going to go back to him. Back over here. And we are going to talk about his, his gear, basically. Like what we got going on. Okay, right? So Fire Knight 10 is, you know, really for endgame stuff. But you could still also use him in Fire Knight Hard 6 as well. All right. So we are going to see that with him, he is going to be in four pieces of protection. And then we do also have in two pieces of supersonic, some newer sets here that we have, right? And he does have some specialties. He has a refresh ring. He has a protection amulet and he has a supersonic banner. So let's go check out his stats. So we are going to go into Fire Knight Castle. And he does have some area bonuses for Fire Knight. So HP's at 51,000, attacks at 3,100, right? And you're going to see the area bonuses here. Defense at 3,600, speed's at 322. He is crit capped with 187% on the crit damage, 234 on the resistance, 153 on the accuracy. He does have 12% on the ignore damage. I'm going to assume he's fully booked. He is fully booked. And if you guys are not familiar with his abilities, I'll go over that quickly too. So his A1 is called Snake Root, which has a chance to decrease the cooldown of a random ally's active skill by two turns. His A2 is called Word Spores. It's an ally attack, which again is what also makes him useful in the Fire Knight because you're going to team up with other ally attack champs, such as Valkyrie and Farrakhan that I have here. The allies during attack use default skills. Also fully restores all allies destroyed max HP and does a 15% continuous heal. His A3 is called Inspiring Rhythm. Fills the turn meter of all allies. Removes all debuffs from allies. It also does an increased speed buff on all allies. And his passive is called Grand Oaks Magic. At the start, he places a buff on each ally for their turn depending on their type. So attack champs get a 50% increase attack. Defense champs get a 60% increase defense. Support champs get a 50% increase accuracy. And HP-based champs get a shield buff equal to 30% of the allies' max HP. Also, gotta love that he's an ally speed lead in battles by 25%. Now, here's his masteries as well. So we're going to see he's up the offense and the defense trees. So we have him on methodical. And then behind me, what you don't see is going to be war master. So what an interesting, fun champ. And guys, you're going to see he has a lore story I did share on my lore channel as well, too. Feel free to check it out. He reminds me so much. I'm not sure if we have any Lord of the Rings Hobbit fans here. But he reminds me of Radagast, the brown one of the um, the wizards like Gandalf, right? That's just what he reminds me of. I love his design. I think they did such a good job with him. So we are going to do is we are going to go run him in Fire Knight Hard 10. And the team is going to be Newt, Valk, Farrakhan, Stagnite, and Grand Oak Padrag. So let's go check it out. 
All right, guys, here we are. So we're at Fire Knight Hard 10, and you are going to see that Padrag is in lead for Ally Speed and Dungeons by 25%. And then here's the rest of his team. So we do have Stag Knight, we have Farrakhan, we have Newt and Valk. So let's check the presets before we hop on in. So round one with Padrag, we are going to shut off his Word Spores, which is going to be the ally attack. Farrakhan, we're going to do the beat down once, which is an ally attack. Then we're going to shut that off. Valk, stand firm is again this is gonna be the ally attack so we're gonna do it once then we're gonna shut it off stag knight hunts master is gonna be the aoe decrease defense we do it once and then turn it off and then newt fury of the kings is going to be an aoe same thing is we're gonna hit once and then shut it off round two same thing with the word spores except this time we're gonna do it once and then stop okay farkin we're gonna shut down his beat down which is going to be an ally attack Valk, a same thing as round one is we're going to do her sand firm once and then shut it off. Stagnate, we're going to leave him be. And then Newt, we're going to do Fury of the Kings. We're going to prioritize that. So now when we get to the actual Fire Knight, we're going to start with Snake Root. Is it hits the enemy chance to decrease in the cooldown of a random ally's skills by two turns. So we kind of want to prioritize Snake Root. Farkin, we're prioritizing his Sizzling Strike, which hits once does a decreased defense, and then also his beat down, which would be the ally attack. We're actually shutting off the brand of shame, which is the HP burn and the poisons. For Valkyrie, same thing we kind of been doing with her all along for the most part is we're prioritizing Stand Firm, which is going to be the ally attack. Stagnite, we're leaving him alone. And then Newts, we're working on Dwarven Might, which hits three times. And we're going to shut off Fury of the Kings, which is going to be the AoE. All right, so let's hop out of here and let's run. So, Brot was saying this run probably takes about like three minutes. Here we go. What a fun team, too, because we already know, like, Newt was made for Fire Knight. And how are you guys doing with the Grand Oak Padrag? Did you guys end up getting him? He was in the, the Path of the Clover, which pretty much made him a guaranteed, right? If you had the resources for it, anyhow, he was, like, a guaranteed Lego there. All right, about 30 seconds through Wave 1. Here we are, Wave 2. I like the way he looks, and I like I like the foresty kind of attack with the vines too. I think that's great. Okay. So we're almost at the minute mark. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. The vines just like come out and attack. I like that. I think they did a good job designing him. job new to Misa and Raiho the last two they're standing huh all right okay Almost at the two minute mark. All right, minute 45 to the boss. And here we go. Ally attack up. We got the counter attacks. All right, he swings, but we're okay. Working on taking that shield down. All right, ally attack. There it is. Shield is down. So now hopefully we can manage his turn meter. We're at two and a half minutes. So if we can keep his turn meter down. There it is. Dropped again. Yep, so Bront is saying this is how he designed it to be. Counterattack and then two ally attacks. All right, we got to keep the turn meter dropped. We didn't drop it that time. He's halfway. All right, so he attacks. It's okay. We had our shields on. 
So now we gotta take down his shield again. Yep, I know Brought's watching, so we'll probably get the shield up again unless we get super lucky. That's okay. He did get the shield up again. 12 hits, so we're gonna take that down. <laughs> Job Newt coming in with three. There it is. All right, so he's about halfway down on health. So this looks like it'll be more like a four minute run, but that's okay. Because like you guys saw, I mean, they were, they were protected the whole time. Like it didn't look like they were in danger at all. All right, same thing. So if we can keep his turn meter down so he doesn't get another shield up or swing. Oh, good job, Newt. There we go. Newt decreased the turn meter. I, you know, I really like Stagnite, too. I think he's really good for firing. And there it is. Good job, Newt. And so here we, here we end up. Look at Stagnite, actually. So he's at 1-6, Valk at 1-2, Farkin at a mil, and Newt at 4-8. So yeah, they did pretty darn good, I think. Guys, do you have Lord, uh, Lord, oh my gosh. You have Grand Opadric. Technically, we could call him a Lord. Like, I think his lore story, which I do have on the Lore Story channel, talks about him kind of, as, like, kind of like a Lord of the Forest. So I'm not too wrong by calling him a Lord, Grand Opadric. Do you guys have him? Are you running him in Fire Knight as well, too? Did you do the event? Drop me a comment down below and guys again i'm gonna have some links for brought down below too so make sure you go follow him on twitch and go subscribe to his youtube and thanks for watching guys